to help protect the constitutional rights of Georgians. Our lawsuit contains equal protection violation allegations, due process claim violation allegations. It contains many of the stories that you all have already heard about um, and many more that you've not yet heard about. We have, again, we've heard from 40,000 uh, Georgians and counting, and counting, um, who told us story after story about the concerns and problems they have uh, with our system across Georgia. You will find these stories of voter after voter after voter who was turned away or could not cast a proper ballot. Our governor-elect should be incensed that if one person's right to vote was violated. The Republican Party raises the false specter of voter fraud all the time and says just one case is too many. Well, there's no proof that any of that happens. I would say we need to be focused on the voter, any Georgia citizen who could not vote. And if that's one or 100,000, we are going to seek to fix the system. In the line for three hours, um, I was asking why there were seven machines there, only three worked. Um, when it was my turn after waiting three hours, I had difficulties with casting my vote because the machine kept glitching and it was pausing and freezing. So then I asked, I asked someone to tell me what to do about it because my vote wasn't letting me cast. And they told me there was nothing that we could do about it. political science student. I'm really interested in the government. I want to learn more. I want to be involved. I want to hopefully work for the government one day and just to see that um, the very system that was in place that was supposed to help me vote worked against me was incredibly upsetting.